dude. I am loving this dude, man. He already got me stacked. Uh, he already got me stacked over the weekend, so. Not that bad of a morning. The weather is about 67 degrees out here. Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? All right, I'm out here in uh, Minnesota. Made my drop at the Walmart last night. Didn't realize that this Flying J that I'm at is about an hour away. Here, luckily I had an hour and 20 minutes left on my clock. But I couldn't overnight at the uh, at the Walmart, so I had to come here. This was the only closest place where I could take a shower. But when I get back out, I want to talk about the miles I've been getting with this company. So, it's about to rain very right quick. You know, I thought I was gonna put on some uh, some shorts, but up here in the Midwest, you know, it's the tail end of summer now, and it's getting cold. <laughs> It's getting cold up here, so remind me to get a to get a jacket, a good winter jacket. You guys put it in the comments and let me know what type of jacket to get. Let's talk about the miles I've been getting with uh, getting with Jr. Schroeder. You guys know that when I was with them, I had to argue for miles every week. You know, when the, in the beginning, in the beginning. I figured that, hey, I, you know, I had to work my way up to some type of seniority to, to get miles. It was like I had to call in every day, almost, to get a pre-plan. Or call in every week bitching about the, the end result. You know what I'm saying? And I keep telling them that, hey, if I'm going to stay out here for maybe two months at a time or three months at a time i want to get compensated for it don't send me on these bullshit runs that y'all y'all was sending me on they were sending me on shit like 200 mile runs uh a local load that pits up at the yard and delivers 15 20 minutes down the street you know i was put on shit like that 200 miles here and I gotta wait a couple hours there and then wait maybe about another 45 uh, 45 minutes to an hour just to get another load that pits up the next day saying I bared it out I rocked out with it you know what I'm saying thinking that it's gonna get better and better and better and it didn't it didn't it didn't you know it only got better towards the tail end of my career with them. I was doing like 28, 25, 26. Now those miles ain't bad, you know what I'm saying? 26, 28, those ain't bad miles. But the problem is, it's not consistent. The paychecks I've been getting is like 500, 600, a $300 paycheck at one time. Uh, no, not one time. I had a, I had a $300 paycheck a couple of times. <laughs> you serious? I hit that 34 and I saw like a thousand. I made a thousand dollars maybe about five times in my career with uh with US Express. And you know. Fleet manager will come to you and say stuff like, oh, okay, well, run this 200 mile for me, and then I'll look for a uh, 1,000 or 600 or 1,000 more. With this company I'm with now, JR Schmugel, it's been consistent since I started with it, all right? It, it's, no, it's no sitting around. It's no waiting. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm just saying, wow, so far, so far, my checks has been pretty good. With this company, I mean, you know, it's just been, you know, miles at the miles at the miles. You know what I'm saying? And I've been getting the miles without even having to beg or ask for it. telling you if you want the miles jr jr swoopa will give you the miles i am here at walmart in minnesota how about that some you know shippers and receivers that you come to some of them are actually a-okay. Some can be real funny, but you know, I, I, I was appreciative that they that they was able to let me leave my truck here or my trailer here so I can bobtail over to the flying J and you know get my 10 hour and my shower and all that good stuff in last. As you guys can see, I got my paperwork. About to go ahead and input that into the uh, Qualcomm and then make it down to Iowa. Oh, and by the way, this is my third load assignment. You know, fleet manager already hooked me up over the weekend. So this is my third load assignment. So that's what I'm talking about, man. The last time that you talk to the uh, fleet manager, the more good you'll be out here on the road. All right, guys, so the last thing to do when I normally pick up my paperwork, I go ahead and uh, I go ahead and scan it in. Long time ago, or back when I was with the other company, I, uh, I used to save up my paperwork. The new company that I'm with, you know, they, they do their payroll on Monday. With that said, it changed up the way that I'd scanned in my paperwork. Actually, we have a scanner with the Qualcomm, but I don't have the scanner. So I got to use the next best thing, which is one of my top five apps. I'll put that in the description below, which is the Transflow app. So with the Transflow app, what I do is just send in, scan everything in on my phone, send it in, and boom, it's done. Transflow. If you don't have it, get it. It's my top five apps, y'all. Check out that video too. Made it to the craft warehouse here in Iowa. And like the guard said, it must be Shugal Day. I make the like third fourth tr uh, truck that came in lucky for me mine is preloaded so all i have to do is just drop hook and go you mean so man, let me understand this because i don't you know maybe it's me i'm a little fucked up maybe but i'm funny how i mean funny like i'm a clown i amuse you i make you laugh i'm here to fucking amuse you what do you mean funny funny how how am i funny i'm not just you know how you tell the story what no, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. And just like that, it's docked. All I gotta do is drop, look, and go. So once I drop this trailer, I'm gonna go and pick up my other trailer and then head to Georgia. Now, it's been a while since I've been down to the ATL. I'm not going like into the city, at least I hope not, but it's been a while since I got down there. So let's head down south, y'all. How the hell did this get like that? Somebody tell me, how the hell 
Is that tire get like that? I mean, it can be various of things, really. The roads will eat it up like that. Uh, hit one bump in the road, a little bit of chunk off, and then it starts pulling from there. It's just various things. There you go. You guys heard it.